brings with it a whole new routine. We have to scrape off the ice, warm it up, and make sure our driveway is clear too. But what if your mode of transportation is an airplane? 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith takes us to Vienna, where future aviation mechanics are learning how to battle the cold and keep the air systems flying. The holiday season means peak traffic for cargo and passenger airlines. It's also when bad weather can cause the most havoc. Cargo flights can be canceled, but you know, as soon as one cancels, it backs up something else, and, and it, it's a whole network in the system that, that gets out of whack. Here at the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics in Vienna, mechanics in training learn how to repair planes. They also learn how to fight the weather. Generally speaking, airplanes do well in the cold, yeah. but there are problem <laughs> spots to watch AOE for. Van. There are some systems you wouldn't even think of. The, uh, the potable water systems usually have to get tested. Something as simple as a frozen water line can cause major issues for the aircraft, so each system has to be checked. Ice and snow are enemies of the aircraft. Um, if it sits outside, after last night, like the snow, it would take quite a bit of time for somebody to clean all that snow off of there and remove all the ice off of there because it has to be completely gone before that airplane can fly. Most planes use heat from the engines to heat the wings. This metal strip is a de-icing system that must be certified before each flight. If it's not getting the proper heat that we can find that in tests prior to it being discovered in flight because that would, that would pretty much be an in-flight emergency if the, uh, you know, if all of a sudden the pilots realize the wings are getting an ice build up and they have no way to get it off. And the job right of these mechanics is to prevent as many of those emergencies as possible. In Vienna, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.